What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Muse. Yes, indeed. Muse fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Skywipe and We Want the Cup. The Stanley Cup. We know what cup you're talking about. The only cup that matters. The Stanley Cup. They both wanted to see me react to this song by Muse called Fury. Now, have I heard the song before? No. To the best of my knowledge, I have never heard the song before. This does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go... I recognize this. I know I've heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Muse Music Channel, all one word, no spaces. And the video has 154,141 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Muse, Fury. That's all I got. Hope it's the right song. Hey, this is the link they gave me, so we'll see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Typical vocal work from Matt there. He, he he loves going up to those major thirds. And then while the song resolves to the five, he'll stay up there on that major third. He loves doing that. Um, even going up to the fourth and then coming back down to the major third. It it's it's very typical uh from him. It's kind of, it's kind of one of his calling cards, I guess is a good way to put it. Good way to put it. One of his signature traits when it comes to his vocal delivery. Um I'm digging this. It, it feels good. Um, it's got it's got a, it's got a certain element of heaviness to it. I, I don't think it's the heaviest song I've heard from Muse, but um, it's got some heaviness to it, which is nice. Um, a little bit of a slower tempo, but still has a good drive to it. Has good energy, good feel to it. So yeah, so far so good. So far so good. Let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. I'm curious.
back into that new part again. Um, the main riff is nice. It, it's simple, but it's really nice. It is effective, though. Uh, it gets the job done. We're coming into this part again, and this, for me, is my favorite part of the song that I've heard so far. I heard it in the first the first time I heard it. I'm looking forward to hearing it again. The guitar work on this thing. That's that that triad that that arpeggiated triad. Just one three five three one three five three one. It's it's nice. Or it, actually, in this case, it's I think it's one three six three one three six, and then it resolves down to one three five three one three five. So really nice. I I dig that. It's infectious. Meanwhile, the bass is underneath holding the bottom end down with those long, sustained notes with that distortion patch um, on it. And it sounds nice, helps fill out the sound and uh, gives Matt's vocals an opportunity to really kind of soar and really kind of help shape the song, which is really nice. Digging it. Digging it. Nice use of wah giving the guitar kind of that, well, it's a combination of the wah and the delay that's being used. It gives it a little bit of that haunting feel. You know what I mean? You hear that, you hear those sustained notes, but you hear the delay coming with it. You can hear it just reaffirming what's already being sustained, just being added on behind it. Um, with the wah, though, it gives it that feeling of hauntingness. I, I dig it. I absolutely dig it. It's not. It's not. It's not like impending doom. Uh, it's not like that. It's just. It gives it a, a slight haunting feel. Not. Not in a. Not in a. Not in a terrifying way or in a, an intimidating way. Just in a. A way of. I don't know. Loss. Maybe. Or. Dr I don't, I, dreads. Dreads too strong. It's not dread. In, maybe it maybe a sense of impending loss. Maybe that's the maybe that's what I'm looking for to describe that guitar. But it it sounds good. It sounds really good. Uh, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review.
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, I mean, it's pretty obvious I enjoyed the song. I, I think that's pretty obvious. Now, how much I enjoyed it, that's the question. I, I don't know that yet. Let me think about it. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Muse with Fury. This was a request from Skywipe, and we want the cup. Yeah, well, I know, I know LA would love to have the cup back for the third time. Um, let's see. On a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that an 8.5. Yep, 8.5. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? I dug this song. I did. It, it's not my favorite, okay? I, I want to be clear. that I, I, It's not my favorite song for them, but I still dug it. I absolutely dug it. And there were some great things happening with the song. Um, the bass on this was key. It was absolutely key. It's really what kept the song going, if I'm being honest with you. And I know a lot of people are scratching this going, what about the guitar? What about the drums? What about the vocals? I'll get to all of that in a second. But what I'm saying is this. Without the bass in this, this song would have sounded extremely hollow. Because guitar was doing a lot of counter-melodic line stuff. A lot of moving lines to go along with Matt's hailed sustained vocals. Meanwhile, the drums are keeping the drum pattern solid. So what's going to fill out the sound of the song? What's going to fill out not just the bottom end, but the approach of the whole song from a melodic standpoint in general? That's where the bass comes in. In this case, the bass really helped carry this song along. Um, speaking of that guitar with those moving lines, really nice job. Um, when he wasn't playing unison with the bass, uh, he was playing... Uh, like in that chorus, that the chorus, man, that is my favorite part of the song. I dug that with the guitar line. The moving guitar line, really cool, man. It was it, it was so well done, and it, it wasn't over the top either. It was almost done, and and the as far as the placement in the mix, it almost made it sound like an afterthought. But it, it's it's one of the driving things of, of the of the chorus. It's probably besides Matt's vocals, it's the driving thing in the in the chorus. I know everybody's like, what about the drums? What about the drums? The drums were there, keeping the feel of the song going. Yes, and he did a fine job of that. But as far as moving the song along and keeping the song active and keeping the song moving with throughout the chorus, that was the guitar. Um, vocals on this. It's not the most impressive work I've heard Matt sing, if I'm being honest. It's not the most impressive, but but it was some of the most effective singing I've heard Matt do. Uh, a lot of his characteristics, a lot of his, his greatest hits, I guess, <laughs> were used in this song. Uh, a lot of his signature stuff that he does, like the, the transitioning, you know, sustaining and holding the third, Moving up to the four, coming back down to the third again. A, a lot of stuff that he does in a lot of other songs from Muse. Um, but it fit here. It absolutely fit here. And it, it's his signature style, man. It is. And I, I got I got no problem with that. Look, if you got something that works for you, why would you just why would you stop doing it? Why would you change it? Why would you try to make it something different? Why? When, when it's already working for you. You know what I mean? So no, I got I got no issue with that whatsoever. Um, no, overall, this was an enjoyable song. The songwriting on this was, was simple. It, it wasn't anything all that complex, but it was so well put together. Uh, not just from an arrangement standpoint, but from an effect standpoint, too. Um, the guitar on this, get, having that haunting feel to it, uh, on that, on that chorus, man, I dug it. It... I mean, you, were, you heard the accents of the notes, you heard the attacks, but it was, like I said, it was it, it was almost given like a like an, like an afterthought, giving it that haunting feel, and it was really cool. It wasn't it wasn't overly done either. Uh, it was just very nicely done. Um, I dug it. 
I dug everything about the song. I, I really don't have anything else to say. It, it, it was fun. It was a good song to listen to. I will definitely listen to this again. I'll, if I'm being honest, I'll have to be in the mood to listen to this. But, I mean, the mood struck me today, and I enjoyed it. I absolutely enjoyed it, and I feel good about that 8.5. So that is where we're going to stay. 8.5, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, that did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys feel like ringing the bell, then go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.